For the first time in 30 years, the people of the Dominican Republic are breathing the sweet air of liberty. And 100,000 turn out in the capital of Ciudad Trujillo to chant and cheer in celebration. They pass through a week of event upon event. First, the son of slain dictator Rafael Trujillo fled the country. Then two of his uncles returned and tried to take over. The U.S. Navy stood by in Dominican waters, and the two Trujillo brothers returned to exile. Today, two of the opposition leaders are able to come back to their country, and the streets are jammed in celebration. The presidential palace is still occupied by President Joaquin Balaguer, a Trujillo appointee. But the opposition says that they will support him as long as he fulfills his promises of governmental reforms and the guarantee of civil liberties. After 30 years of tyranny, the people of the tiny island seem assured of the freedoms that were denied them for so long.